What's up guys, I am back and iOS 13 is almost here and in this video we will talk about everything we know about it so far. So let's start with all the confirmed features, one of which is a brand new call UI. Now we don't know for sure how it's gonna look but it's not gonna take the entire screen, it's gonna be much smaller and you'll be able to ignore the calls without declining them. So it's gonna be less interfering and annoying than before. Now iOS 13 is also gonna speed up your animations making the experience faster and smoother. Now it might allow you to customize it as well to your liking. They're also gonna introduce a brand brand new app switcher which will allow you to kill all the applications at once. And a new feature called emoji search will also pop up like Snapchat where you can just type in say heart and a heart emoji shows up in the suggestions. Now with this update you'll be able to change and manage fonts where you can just import them right from the app store and use them on your phone and that's gonna be great. There's gonna be a new share sheet that's gonna be much simpler and the UI will be easier and faster than now. iOS 13 is also gonna introduce a new widgets panel which is gonna be way more useful and way more customizable than it is now. Now with iOS 13 a lot of apps are gonna get redesigned one of which is the health app it's gonna introduce a new feature called listening aid where it will monitor the sounds around you and adjust the volume accordingly now the reminders app is also gonna get a brand new UI and a brand new layout it's gonna be way more simpler and useful than before and you'll be able to implement Siri shortcuts right within the maps app is also gonna introduce a new feature just like Google Photos we can make a group and add pictures to a particular place and it's gonna get better in whole. Now Apple is gonna merge Find My iPhone and Find My Friends to make it one app and they're gonna introduce a new keyring that you can put on things to never lose them. Okay, now let's talk about all the cool new features, one of which is a swift key like keyboard that Apple is gonna implement to the stock keyboard. You can just swipe across the letters and type a word, it's gonna be very cool. Now Apple will introduce a brand new sleep tracker just like Ben time you'll be able to monitor and track your sleep overnight it's gonna be very useful now with iOS 13 Apple is also gonna introduce passport support we can actually add your password inside the wallets app to make it in your reach at all times Apple will also introduce some camera settings right inside the camera application you'll be able to change the video resolution add a grid and you'll also be able to adjust the aperture right inside the portrait mode. Now iOS 13 is also going to introduce a brand new volume UI that's going to be less obstructing and annoying than it is now. It's going to be smaller and simpler. Now I'm pretty sure everyone knows about it but iOS 13 is finally going to introduce the dark mode we have been waiting for years. You'll be able to schedule it and turn it on at all times. Siri is also going to get better with iOS 13 to compete with Alexa and Google Home. So now let's talk about all the minor changes that iOS 13 is making one of which is more implementation of long press Apple is dropping 3D touch this year so long press will be favored in this update you'll be able to make more customizations to control center you'll be also allowed to import and download widgets right from the app store and add it to your control center now Siri shortcuts will also get better and more useful with iOS 13 and with iOS 13 we're gonna get better toggles you'll be able to finally turn off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi right from the control center now the iPad is gonna get the most improvements one of which is the ability to use it as an external display for your Mac. It's been long overdue and we'll finally get it with this update. Now this update will make the iPads more desktop like by introducing better multitasking and allowing a lot of applications that are focused for desktops like Photoshop that's gonna come this fall for the iPads. Now there is buzz that iOS 13 is gonna be jailbreak proof all the community is against this and they are saying it's gonna be impossible so we'll see how that rolls out now let's talk about compatibility iOS 13 is not gonna support iPhone 5s iPhone SE 6 6 plus iPad mini 2 and iPad Air they're all gonna die and you'll have to upgrade if you want the latest updates so that is all we know about iOS 13 apart from the fact that it's gonna come on June 3rd and I'm gonna make a lot of content so stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't hope you guys enjoyed until then please like comment and subscribe peace